I'm here today with Scott McCain. Scott is a friend, an author, a speaker extraordinaire, member of the Speakers Roundtable, yes. among many other things, uh, chairman of the Distinction Institute. And he has written a great new book called The Seven Tenets of Taxi Terry. Taxi Terry, a, yes. a famous, you've made him famous, <laughs> taxi driver. A real life taxi driver. Who has this incredible yeah. ability to create customer experiences like nobody else. Is this a real taxi driver? It absolutely is, Skip. I'm, I'm late one night in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm in the long line to get a cab. I, I finally work my way up to the front of the line and this guy pulls up, jumps out of his cab, points at me in the front of the line and shouts, are you ready for the best cab ride of your life? And what did you do? Right, I looked right. over my shoulder, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He said, get in. I'm afraid now, you know. And it, it began what really was uh, a truly distinctive experience. And, and from that, I learned many things that are applicable to all businesses. And if a single taxi driver can do it, it means to me that even small businesses can do it, big businesses can, and that's create distinction in the marketplace. So that's for everybody. So not just a small taxi driver. You're saying that what, he, what this taxi driver taught you in that experience, anybody can use it. Yeah, a, a specific example is tenant one, which is set high expectations, then exceed them. Uh, by saying, are you ready for the best cab ride of your life? He set very high expectations for me, the customer, and for himself in terms of what he was gonna deliver. But think of how many big banks or big stores or big operations we walk into, and no one says anything to the customer, or help you, <laughs> you know, or some kind of inane comment that that means nothing to us. So by, by setting a high expectation, Taxi Terry motivated not only his customer to think this was great, but to motivate himself for a higher level of performance. So is that one of the biggest problems? People set too low expectations or they don't set any expectations or? Yeah, yeah great question. It's fascinating to me how we will build these big stores and build these big businesses and put people in them and then never once say, so then what happens? It would be like if we decide we we're gonna make a movie and we build the sets and we hire the camera professionals and we get all the equipment and then say, now what are we gonna say? I mean, you would never begin a movie without a script, but yet many organizations have no idea what expectation levels they're setting for their customers or how they're initiating a conversation with them. Well, let's move to tenant seven. Okay. So you're talking about joy yeah. and that when yeah. you create joyful experiences for your customers, you're also more joyful. Tell yes. me a little more about that. Well, I, one of the things I really noticed from Terry, uh, not only from that initial ride where I did see it, because he was the happiest cab driver I've ever ridden with. I mean, he was extraordinarily nice and helpful. But one of the conversations that we had in the later ride was that it was easy for him to maintain a higher level of joy by making his customers happy. It's contagious. And so one of the things that you find is that if you're able to make the experience more joyful for your customers, whether those are external or internal customers, the unbelievable benefit is how much more joyful your own life becomes. You've written about creating distinction yes. and differentiation yeah. and these types of things in, in the past. Is this a new area for you? Is this a new focus for you? I've thought a lot about that because I don't want to get off track. I think it's an extension. In other words, how do you create distinction unless you're doing these amazing things that Taxi Terry is doing. He's singularly the most distinctive uh, cab driver, certainly, and, and transportation uh, employee, maybe person that I've ever met in terms of how one person can change the game. And I, I think that's a part of distinction is when we look at what we do with fresh eyes and see if there's a way that we can truly change the game. Where is Taxi Terry? I need to find him. <laughs> you bet. Taxi Terry is in Jacksonville. And you know, one of the cool things, here's a, here's a quick example of his, of his distinction. When you go to the Taxi Terry website, taxiterry.com, he shot a YouTube video that shows when you're coming out of, of an airplane, he walks you all the way down to where you would meet him. So there's no confusion about where you go to meet him. Helping the customer helps you. And, and so when you go to Jacksonville, Florida, there's even a video on YouTube that'll tell you specifically where you go to meet Taxi Terry for the best cab ride of your life. Well, if you want to meet Taxi Terry, this is the book to meet him because uh, <laughs> you really teach people uh, the ultimate customer experience and you outline some, some great principles in it. So thank you so much. Well, I can't let this go by without saying thank you because Skip, this book would not have happened had it not been for your, your support and your encouragement and everything that you help make happen and in introducing me to the great folks at McGraw Hill. So that's why you have the first copy of the book. And the, I'm very, the very first. That is, hot, that is absolutely the first copy that came off. And I wanted you to have it because this book would not have happened without you. And I'm very grateful. Well, thank you. Thanks.